गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द लेसन दैट वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड फूड एंड डाइजेशन डू यू रिमेंबर व्हाट वी लर्न इन लास्ट फ्यू पीरियड्स वी हैड लर्न अबाउट वेरियस न्यूट्रिएंट्स लाइक फैट्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स विटामिनस एंड मिनरल्स दिस टाइम वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट रफेज वाटर एंड डाइजेशन so these three things we are going to learn today so what is roughage roughage is nothing but fiber that are present in our food and what does this roughage do or what does this fiber do it is required for proper functioning of the digestive system so our digestive system works properly if we have roughage in our food regularly and from where do we get this roughage we get it from fruits that right now you are seeing on your screen these fruits have a lot of roughage in it also it is present in vegetables that we have so in our daily diet there should be vegetables and fruits so as i said roughage is a fiber present in our food it is required for proper functioning of the digestive system one more use roughage has roughage adds bulk to the food we filled our stomach is properly fed up when we have vegetables fruits in proper amount so it gives certain weight to the food so it is very necessary the next thing which is very important is water water is very important for our body to function properly why because our body has 3/4 of its weight made up of water so 3/4 of our body weight is water so guys we should have water regularly whenever we feel thirsty whenever we work out whenever it is required we should have water especially in summer season okay in winter season also many times what happens we don't feel thirsty but even then we should have water so do you have water regularly how many times a day do you drink water let me know in the comments how many times each of you have water daily how many glasses okay the next important thing is all these nutrients should be in proper balance so way of having it is called as balanced diet the right amount of all the nutrients that is carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals is called as balanced diet so if we have all these nutrients in proper amount then the diet is called as balanced diet so here in this pie chart you can see the maximum amount of food should have this fruits and vegetables so fruits and vegetables should be in maximum amount below that there should be this fiber rich carbohydrates which is the rotis that we have then proteins which we found generally in eggs meat fish and milk also which is wholesome diet and the least amount should be fats which we have already learned okay will you remember it so what should be maximum fruits and vegetable below that carbohydrates which should which should be fiber rich and then comes proteins which should be around 25% and the least one is what fats so fat should be in least amount okay will you remember this now comes the last part of the video and it is very important part of the lesson which is digestion the process of breaking down of food into simpler form is called as digestion so whatever food that we have it is converted into simpler form and that process is called as digestion 
so this digested food is then taken to all the parts of the body because our each and every part of our body requires food and this is done by the blood okay so digested food is absorbed by the blood and then taken to all the parts of the body so this is the digestive system of human body here there is mouth here there is food pipe then here we have liver here there is stomach here there is small and large intestine and then comes the anus from where food the uh, poisonous or toxic substances are expelled out so once the food is digested whatever remains which is not important for a body which is maybe harmful so it is expelled out it is thrown out of the body through anus okay so let us learn this digestion through animation also so this is how it starts it starts from mouth it goes from food pipe then stomach then small intestine large intestine and then it is expelled out okay yes can you see it yes this is how it happens so once again the process of breaking down of food into simpler form is called as digestion the digested food is absorbed by the blood and taken to all the parts of the body so this was what we learned today we learned about importance of roughage water in our body then we also learned about importance of the balanced diet and in short we learned about digestion but digestion is not yet over okay we are going to discuss it in detail also but in the next video for today this is it and now comes the last but the important part which is assignment so first will be the fill in the blanks in that first is dash is the fiber present in our body second dash of our body weight is water third roughage adds dash to the body b question is what is balanced diet and c is what do we mean by digestion so you have to answer all these questions and submit it by tomorrow okay and send this solved assignment on my number not on the group so that's it guys thanks for watching this video take care of yourself and your family stay home and be safe